Welcome back. Just after midnight on the law into hour two, we head, and that means we also head via phone down to San Jose and chat with the editor of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Now, Mouth, I know sometimes that we share opinions because we do watch pay per views together. Yes. So I always like to get Dave's I take won't say on anything. this. Just clean right off the top. I won't say anything. Dave, we're into hour two. We've been talking about fast lane all through the first hour. What was your take on the show tonight? Um, I thought that. I thought most of the stuff was good. I thought that the the, um, the New Day segment went too long, but I liked some of the lines by Agent Christian. But the R Truth thing was ill timed. If it shouldn't have even been on the show, it yeah, really Dave dragged the show down. I thought the main event was fantastic, and uh, the Jericho match was very good. And overall, mm, you know, less surpri- less surprises than I expected. In fact, I would go to say there were no surprises. Yeah. Um, and I was I was expecting to be surprised, but you know I mean I knew the direction they were going, but I just I thought that there would be um, something really big uh, just because it's the pay per view before WrestleMania and the, right. the, the the thing really big was the the New Day and the um, League of Nations feud, which um, I mean it's something. That's all I'll say. It's something. Well, the, I guess the thing for me, Dave, is coming out of this show and a lot of the stuff in the ring was good, but a I thought the crowd was really not interested in much of anything, and b this, like you said, this is the last show before Mania, and I'm not excited for Mania at all coming out of this show. Now I know you have six weeks now, but still, you should I should be more excited than I am coming out of this show. I felt the show really did nothing to get you hyped for Mania. Um, I would agree with that because when you come out, you're going like, okay, what's the matches at Mania? And usually at this point, you should be really clear on everything. And really, like, I mean, there's stuff that we all know in a sense, but, you know, the the only stuff that as far as, um, you know, they did nothing with Brock, which which I, which I was sure they would do. Yeah. They're going to do it tomorrow. Um, the, you know, you came out with Roman Reigns and Triple H, which we've pretty much been expecting for months. And it was just there. It wasn't like, like at the end, we're going, okay, now we're going to get the big angle. And, in fact, we got no angle. So yeah. I get the angle. But, again, that angle's probably coming tomorrow. Yeah, again, like that's the thing. The only thing coming out of it is we know that it'll be Reigns and Triple H. We don't know anything else. Um, not, like, officially, no. I mean, I think that we can kind of see Charlotte and, um, and uh, Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks maybe in a three-way. Mm-hmm. I mean, just because they both got their submissions at the end. So that's why I'm kind of thinking it's a three-way. Right, but uh, but I know, yeah, no, but but that wasn't really made clear. I think that that there really wasn't anything else, honestly. Yeah, there. You yeah. Know? I mean, like as far as like with Kevin Owens or with no. AJ and all of them, like yeah, you really don't know, and and you really should come out of it knowing a couple of these matches, right? Know? I tell you, Dave, uh, uh, we definitely had a much more negative opinion uh, to this pay-per-view uh, than you did, which is why I wanted you to start off that way. Um, kind of felt like uh, even even where the AJ match with Jericho, uh, I, we both felt that the SmackDown match was superior to this. And once again tonight, I found that they were getting their signals crossed uh, quite a bit in the ring. I thought I thought that there was more. Um, there were a couple of spots that were off that you know, which was different from the SmackDown match. But I thought that the finish was a lot better than the SmackDown match. So. And speaking of that, Dave, have have they put some moratorium on the Styles Clash? Because why is he not using the Styles Clash as the finisher, and he's, he's using it, it as a set? And se- kicked out, which I don't. I don't understand the kick out this early in the game. That well, and really the styles, but me. the styles clash is one of the coolest finishers out there. I, I think it's awesome. I've always loved it, and I'm just wondering if someone has said no, you can't use that as your finisher because he's using the calf crusher, which to me is boring compared to the styles clash. Um, yeah, they're definitely making the calf crusher the, the, the big move, no doubt about it. And um, yeah, I mean, like he kicked out of the styles clash. They're, it looks like they're making the Styles Clash into the side effect. You know what I mean? Where it's yeah. like you do it, in, or the, the famous, or when Dolph Ziggler does it. Uh, but we'll see. But um, it's the, yeah, when he hit the Styles Clash, I thought oh, it's over. And, and it seems and it, it just seems so weird to me to take that and like it, I'm. It sounds like someone might have said something like, "You can't use that as your finisher," because why wouldn't he? Well, I don't know. Um, I'm just I, yeah. I don't. I don't have an answer because it surprised me when when he kicked out. So. Right. So yeah. in regards to that match, uh, you saw I was very surprised to see the respect angle after the match with Jericho and AJ. That was AJ. another thing. Yep. <laughs> I thought we were going to get a Jericho heel yep. turn. So looking at Jericho not turning heel and still being you know a baby face going into WrestleMania, uh, I'm trying to figure out a direction here for him. Yep. Well. There, I am too. <laughs> okay, great. So we're both in that same boat, paddling along yeah. the stream yeah, I'm, to I'm WrestleMania. Thinking, I'm thinking maybe, um, 
Kevin Owens against Dean Ambrose or Kevin Owens against AJ Styles? We yeah. were leaning towards Owens and Styles. AJ, and yeah. apparently there was a tweet tonight from Owens about Owens AJ. Owens had a tweet. That's why I was thinking that. But, yes. but they during the match, they made a point of how, you know, Dean Ambrose is, 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 is an open man now, yep. and they did make a point that Kevin Owens never beat Dean Ambrose for the championship. Remember, you also had the tension between Chris Jericho and Dean Ambrose when Jericho came in as the mystery partner as well, if they want to hearken back to that. Um, yeah, but I don't see Jericho getting a title shot after this. But then again, they could do a, they could also do a four way. No, 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 Jericho and Ambrose. So Jericho no, I know and Ambrose. What you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You could also do a four way. Oh, with, okay. With um, um, Owens, Ambrose, Jericho, and Styles at WrestleMania. Yeah, I don't really like it though. On a ladder, yeah. I mean, a ladder match. Yeah, I don't really. You know, yeah. I mean, it's like yeah, they'll probably have a great if they had a ladder match. It'd probably be great. But I'm I'm not like a big fan of ladder matches right now because, you know, I think that they're that that. Guys are, you know, it, it, it's hard. They did. They had a good one last year. It's just, it's, I, I think they go to that well too often. I feel uh, as though there's always a stunt match at WrestleMania. That's right. Yeah, there usually so, is. Well, there you go. I'd guess that there's going to be one thrown in here. All uh, right. So, well, okay. No, go ahead. I was going to say just a very confusing segment. You mentioned the League of Nations and New Day feud. This uh, is just so terrible. bizarre. Terrible. You had the League of Nations tonight positioned in where the baby faces would typically come out. Right. And then, so who are the baby yeah, faces what, here? Exactly. Is well, it I New Day? The New Day are the baby faces because the people are pretty much behind the New Day anyway. Yeah. But, but, but the way it was positioned, but then at the very end, you had um, Edge and Christian, who were the baby faces in the segment, then kind of sided with the, with the um, New Day against yeah. the League of Nations when the segment ended, which was weird because they were adversarial to the New Day the entire segment. Yeah, yeah, I, that, yeah it, was, it was weird. Also, Dave, tonight, surprising the stuff with the Wyatt family. A, why the hell does Kane, Big Show, and Ryback beat the Wyatts at this point? And B, is, is, are they nothing with Lesnar later on in the title match? Is yep. that, have you heard anything about that? Is that done now? Or? I, haven't heard, I haven't heard anything new. But um, yes, I uh, I was surprised that uh, I was surprised that Strowman wasn't made to look stronger. I was surprised that the Wyatts lost the match. Um, it, did they make a change? But then it's not like that they teased anything else for Brock. So I I you know and, and it's not like there's like these you know what I mean? There's, it's not like there's somebody there that they've really been positioning yeah. for Brock. And Bray was kept out of the match. Mm-hmm. So I think they're probably still going in that direction. But um, I think the whole thing is is that they just feel that they can pin Luke Harper or pin Eric Rowan anytime they want, and it's fine. That's and they true. always like to kind of protect those guys, you know, uh, yeah. Joe Kane and, and, and Ryback. Yeah, I don't know. I, again, leading into to Mania and what the, those three mean compared to the Wyatts, I just thought it was really ridiculous to well, not have I'm the Wyatts. I'm figuring they're all, in the, they're all going to be in the Battle Royal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So you, kind of, you kind of put the baby faces over. But, you know, my thought was that, that Strowman would get the win just because he's the guy that they're really, you know, hiring yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tomorrow night, we have the Vincent J. McMahon Award. <laughs> and, of course, you know, no one has ever been good enough for this award. It's been around today. for 20 years, but no one's been good enough to get it. So tomorrow night, it's being given out. I'm just plain confused. And I don't know. I, 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 I think that maybe it's for Triple H and to do an angle. Who, I mean, who else that's, is there? That's what we were thinking, too, Dave. It's probably going to be Vince and Stephanie presenting it to Hunter, and then maybe Reigns comes out and smashes it or something. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that's sort of how I'm reading it right now, especially because of the graphic of, of, with Vince where they made yeah. it very clear it's a comedy award and not a, something like sacred or serious. Yeah, then they showed Vince holding the award, right? So Right, right. Yeah. Along with that, much debate was made this week in regards to a story that came out about The Undertaker. We've been debating with you on this show and amongst ourselves in regards to who Undertaker will be taking on at Mania. It's always, you know, definitely the the talk around Mania time. And it's now been said that is someone not, they're at least trying to get someone that is not on the current roster as far as wrestlers go. Yeah. Well, so here's the deal. If John Cena is ready, it's going to be John Cena. Mm-hmm. If John Cena is not ready, I, I know they have a name, and I don't know who the name is. I just know they have a name, and it's not someone on the current roster. That doesn't mean like Randy Orton or Seth Rollins. That means someone not on the current roster, which I guess Goldberg, you know, Sting, Sting, Batista. You know, one of the, I know Batista was asked to referee the main event and turned it down. Hmm. So I don't know if, if he was thrown into this spot. I don't know if he's. 
You know, I, I, I don't I don't know. Sting's got a bad neck. I mean, everyone that I think of, I know that Batista's also got a movie thing that he's doing. Everyone I think of, there's a reason why they shouldn't be there, but well, what obviously about, there's, there's somebody. What about Goldberg, Dave? Because to me, Gold- I, I think that would be an attraction that fans would be interested in. I think for Goldberg, as picky as he is, he might go for something like that. Um, you could do it. It's just, you know, Vince doesn't like Bill Goldberg at all. Right, right. He, like, really doesn't. Okay. But, but um... You know, for one show, I mean, Goldberg fits. And, I mean, the thing is, when they did the Goldberg DVD, the Goldberg DVD sold remarkably well. I mean, much better than, like, anyone else's individual DVDs, I think, in years. So the reality is is that they do know that there's a, that there's a lot of interest in Bill Goldberg. I mean, it was last year DVD, but there still is interest in Bill yeah. Goldberg. You know, far more than, I mean, like, you know, if you look at, like, compared to, like, Sting and Sean, and, although there have been multiple DVDs of some of them. But the thing is, like I said... You know, he would be the one guy from back then that people would pop really big for to see back. So from a business standpoint, yes, that makes sense. But, you're, you know, that's the one guy, number one. Bill, you know, Bill doesn't really like Vince. Vince doesn't really like Bill. But then again, you know, plenty of people haven't liked Vince that work for him. Exactly. And, people, and Vince has not liked plenty of people that he's hired and pushed. So, and again, yeah. you know, this is a huge mania. They need yep. they need attractions. To me, that's an attraction. Batista, I think if you put Batista with Undertaker, they're going to boo it out of the building. I don't know if they'll boo it out of the building, but I, I don't think that it's going to be a big, excite, exciting thing. I think people will kind of just expect Undertaker to win. Yeah, like something like Goldberg, somebody people haven't seen, but they still remember. And then yeah. in there with someone like Taker, I think that's a genuine attraction. I mean, if- the, the, one, the one thing the one thing I got to say as far as like, because it does make sense, is, I mean, there have been no hints at all, you know, as far as like that goes. And again, you know, again, um, it's it's it you know it, it's it's definitely possible but but um yeah i've just seen no hints of it that's well, all well but again dave we have 6 weeks now yeah yeah well i oh, to, i'll tell you what all the stuff that didn't happen tonight hopefully a lot happened of it happens to tomorrow me. yeah exactly because because a lot needs to happen because you're right as far as excitement leading to wrestlemania not it, happening yeah, you know, I mean, we're at a, we, you know, we need to be at about a nine pretty quick, and we're at like a three right now. <laughs> exactly, so, yeah. and I think three's being generous, Dave. Well, I tell yeah. you, if you want a program for Dave Batista, just throw him in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. Really, that's the hot program right now, I believe. Yeah, uh, we uh, just. On WWE.com and all over social media, WWE has just released a video and the official signing of Nakamura to mm-hmm. WWE. Uh, and it just seems to be publicized. <laughs> but it's strange to me that they're they're doing this now, tonight, even though they've already announced that he's going to be on the NXT special before WrestleMania. Yeah, maybe they'll... Uh, maybe, but Do you think they'll put him in, in a big match? Well, he's supposed to be wrestling Sami Zayn at, at the... Well, no, I know that. I know that. That's what I'm thinking. Do you think they add him to the... They put him in a big match at Mania? Oh. I don't mean, think so. He could. I mean, he could fit in. He, you can wrestle both shows. He could have. I mean, why don't you have Nakamura against AJ Styles at Mania? That would be oh, awesome. Right. Mouth quiet. That would dreams. be awesome. I just saw that match. I mean, so did happen. I. It was awesome. That's why I'm saying. I agree. You that, know, that those two be... can work together. I think that would be amazing, and that would get both of them over. Yeah, that match would be phenomenal. Well, you just probably made a better match, and we're going to get that whole night. <laughs> uh, what's the uh, this, just switching over here? You know, we've seen the Kurt Angle farewell tour. Uh, do you have any in- inclination in regards to Kurt Angle beyond I, TNA, aside from that one weird paper with Ray that Mysterio, he's doing? Mysterio, yeah. Because um, Ray Mysterio and Kurt Angle are both kind of up in the air in regards to where they're falling into place. And considering the WWE's lack of talent at this WrestleMania, either one of those guys is very much a special attraction. Okay, uh, Ray I don't see because Ray's un- unless they make a deal with Lucha Underground, which I guess is possible for because I could see Lucha Underground doing it, but mm-hmm. but... So you know, but but uh, you know, Ray is under contract to them for a while. Um, and as far as Kurt goes, look, if they wanted Kurt at WrestleMania, um, they could get Kurt at WrestleMania. That wouldn't be. Um, I mean, Kurt would jump. Exactly. Kurt would jump at the chance. Yeah. But but you know, they've been so um, negative. You know, they've been so negative about Kurt for years. So. Who knows? Dave, it'll be a very interesting Raw tomorrow with this award and the road to WrestleMania. I just hope it gets a lot better than yeah, it is right now. it's got to heat up. What's in the Observer this week? Uh, got more. Um, I'm working on some more stuff with WWE Business. Obviously, the um, you know the coverage of what, whatever is going to happen with WrestleMania, with the Ring of Honor stuff as far as the Ring of Honor New Japan Tour. 
this over the weekend and um uh gosh i don't even know what else um i mean there's other things that well, you know it just depends on what happens the next couple of days i mean there's always there's always something on monday and tuesday that's so, right of course there yeah. is. <laughs> all right look forward to reading about it dave and we'll talk yeah. to you next week at this very same time Okay, have a great week. You too. Dave Meltzer, WrestlingObserver.com is where you can find all of that good stuff we just talked about.